This is WNEP's Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Join us for streamside adventures. Days in the field with new and old friends. It's all about making memories and following traditions. And exciting hunting experiences with interesting people. We've captured the beauty and majesty of the great outdoors. And it's all next on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Hello everyone and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs and guess what? They're starting to stock trout. That's right, the hatcheries are ready, the trucks are ready, they've been out for a couple of days. We will be at a hatchery and following along with a couple of stockings. But before the streams got closed, before the approved wa uh, trout waters can no longer be fished, we got out with Ricky Long from Sereno Spinners. He fishes just about every day. Okay, we're on uh, Kitchen Creek this morning. Uh, it's up towards Red Rock Lake Gene area. And uh, we're gonna go up through here and I mean, we go, there's an assortment of fish in here. We can catch browns and we can catch rainbows. Good little stream. So let's let the audience be aware of, there's only two more days to fish be before streams get shut down like this to be stocked. So you've got a little bit of pressure on you right now. Yeah, I sure <laughs> <laughs> I sure do. Uh, but uh, I think we'll have some luck up through here this morning. Okay, I'm going to start out with my ridiculous Rick Magnum. And it's, it's a solid brass, solid brass spoon with just one uh, pink bead on it. Go ahead and attack this stream, buddy. All right. There's one already. First cast this morning. Nice brown. Let's see if we got him. Keep him on. Great. Oh, and all. And all. Wow. So I see a lot of blowdowns. I see a lot of um, trees and rocks, rolls and that kind of stuff. You got to be a little careful as you're casting too, right? Oh, you sure do. The trout are hanging in little deeper holes. But like every fall down you see, when that water temperature is right, you're going to catch a trout there. It's just today we'll have to, you know, we'll have to work the holes a little bit more and I think we'll be okay. There's one. A rainbow. No room. How do you attack a stream like this? Are you going to fish upstream, downstream? Tell me. Sure. I basically fish upstream. I like... I like casting up and retrieving down through a hole. Keep it slow and keep it deep and, uh, you know, you'll catch them. There's one. Oh! <laughs> he, was, he was nice. <laughs> oh, man. Ah. <sighs> The name of my company is uh, Sereno Spinners, and I make inline spinners. I just make probably three different types of, I mean, six different types of spinners that uh, I use, you know, and, and sell. There, one. There, nice. When you talk about spit, uh, fishing, you fish every day. Tell me about that. Well, I, I basically fish every day. I, I'm usually up nice at one. break of dawn, and I'm out till 10, 10, 30, nice and, you know, basically every morning. Now, during the winter, there, there are certain times where we hit single digits, and uh, it's just kind of impossible with freeze-ups, and you're just fighting ice more than anything. But, yeah, I'm basically out there every day. There's one. Uh, 
so what is it with inline spinners? What, what makes you want to fish with them? Well, uh, I started out as a, I mean, everybody kind of starts out as bait fishermen, minis and stuff like that. And uh, I just started to throw spinners. I'd probably been throwing 25 years or so, but really got serious about four or five years ago. And uh, I just got hooked on that and that's, that's what I fish now. There. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Nice job, my friend. What? Yes. Nice job. What do we got there? Nice wild brown. Now you see wild, how do you know? Well, real distinct is a nice. Oh, look at the colors. Bluish bluish dot behind on the gill plate right and you can see the tips of the the fins here you can tell and the beautiful red dots yeah and it's, I mean it's oh what a beautiful fish middle of February brown trout kitchen creek nice job buddy yeah nice job and there he goes so we're about five, maybe six weeks away from the opening of the trout season. Um, when you attack a stream, what do you look for? How do you know where to fish? Tell me, give me a couple of tips like that. Okay, sure. Like this time, like right now, this time of year, the, the, the creeks are really clear. So you kind of have to be a little sneaky when you walk up on a hole or on a nice rip with a pole at the bottom. You got to take your time and... Uh, you got to look at the water, and I think the most important thing right now you want to you want to slow down. The water's cold. You want to slow down with your retreat. You cast up, cast, bring it through the hole. Slow down. Let that lure go as deep as possible, and I think that's your ticket this time when it's cold, when the water's cold. There's one chasing. Yeah, baby. Rook trout. What kind you got? It's a brookie. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful brook trout. It's just starting to rain a little bit here. Gorgeous mm -hmm. colors on that fish. Real nice. Good. And you're catching release. So you get up in the morning, you go out sometimes in frigid temperature. To catch some beautiful trout and you release them all. Yeah. <laughs> and we, I don't eat trout. I don't, you know, I just don't, I, I just catch them and release them. That, that's, what, that's what I like to do. <laughs> if somebody wants to get a hold of some of your lures, what's the best way to do that? Well, the best, the best place here in, the, in our area right here is a, a local taco shop. It's in Bloomsburg and it's, it's Arnold's Heritage Bait and Lures in Bloomsburg. And, uh, also, there's a, a, a small tackle shop right in Millville. It's Gumby's Creekside. But uh, and they're basically the two that carry my, my spinners. So if you noticed, I just sort of stood back and watched him because when those smaller streams are clear like that, you could spook things. He knows what he's doing. He's a great guy. Ricky, thank you for taking us out. We're going to take a short break, but when we come back, we're going to show you how he makes the ridiculous Rick. <laughs> 